Hey y'all, Joe from St. Bernard Acres. Uh, something I think is very important I'm about to talk about. And I hope y'all listen and I hope you agree with me. And we can figure out a way to stop what I think is coming down the pike. Um, you know we bought this van to convert into a camper van. And one of the things I wanted to do in this camper van was visit national parks. I would like to visit all the national parks in the lower 48 states. So, I'm a senior now. I'm retired. I have a senior discount. What the government wants to do now and what is being recommended by this committee, this advisory committee, um, is the privatization of the National Park Service and the elimination of the senior discount to uh, make the Park Service profitable and it was never intended to be profitable that was not the goal of the National Park Service um, the National Park Service was founded in 1916, it was established, and its job is to maintain the integrity of our national parks and historical sites uh, that's been added to it, you know, the, the National Register, you know, buildings and monuments and things. That's what the, the Park Service is there for, and their job is to not only protect those but to make them accessible and available for us as citizens to enjoy. That's what they're set aside for. They're, they're not there to make money. Um, their job, and they've been doing, in my opinion, and in most people's opinion, a fine job for 103 years now. Um, so now we come to 2019. Everybody knows Trump, and, and I have to say this, I'm not bashing Trump. I'm not saying Trump is doing anything different than any other president. You know, I hate the fact we live in a time now where if you have a different opinion about something this administration is doing, you can't have a different opinion. You immediately, you're a Trump hater, and you hate, make America, you're going to be out beating up people wearing Make America Great Again hats and shit. No, I just uh, disagree with this part of what Trump's administration is looking at. I don't hate Trump. You know, I don't hate every Democrat. I mean, but today if you say one thing against anybody, well, you're classified as a hater. Thumbs down. We're out of here. I'm not subscribed to you anymore. They don't even listen to the video. Oh, he's talking about Trump. Okay, we're out of here. Uh, he disagrees with Trump. Okay, unsubscribe. You know how it works nowadays. Um, and, you know, Trump wants to... He's made no bones about the fact he wants to privatize parts of the VA, the Postal Service. You know, and some of those are good ideas, and I agree with them 100%. Uh, I agree with smaller government. Um, there has to be. But some things you don't mess with. And to me, our national parks... 84 million acres of land we don't put under the control of private companies for profit companies and the idea to strip away our senior discounts is, is just ridiculous to me um, what they're not thinking about I'll, I'm gonna quote what the vice chairman of this committee said I have a couple notes here. Um, the Derek Crandall, vice chairman of the committee, I'm quoting now. All we're saying is that it may not make sense on peak days like July 4th weekends to let seniors compete with families for campsites. So, I'm a senior, I have a family, we want to go camping on July 4th weekend. It's not fair 
that I'm allowed to get a spot there over a family, you know, a younger family. Let that sink in. Seniors, it's not fair, seniors can compete with families for campsites. If you remember last year, some of you do and others you can go look for. I did a video on turning 62 and retiring, taking my partial retirement. And one of the things I talked about was how as seniors we're becoming inconsequential. And uh, this younger generation is viewing us as we don't contribute anything so why should you know they even care about us we should get nothing well here you go it's it's happening all over um, I feel that during my 47 years of working and paying taxes and still paying taxes and still working part of those taxes I paid went to the Park Service they helped fund the budget of the Park Service so I've already paid, I think, a lot of money, and I deserve a discount, where the the 25-year-old with his family hasn't paid as much as me. But aside from that, that sentiment just killed me. You have, on this committee, to do this privatization, at least four people with direct conflicts of interest. Um, these are companies that own concession stands and concessions at ballparks, you know, Aramark, the CEO of Aramark. Uh, Big-time contributors to, to Trump's campaign uh, who own businesses that will profit from taking management of the parks. Uh, what are they going... To offer us you know number one they're gonna jack up all the prices for everything well for an extra fee you'll be able to get high-speed internet at your campsite uh, they're gonna have food trucks driving through the parks where you can buy food off the food trucks uh, you can have your pizza delivered to your campsite yeah I'm at a campsite, I'm camping out, I'm enjoying nature and everything that comes with it. And here are all these vehicles coming through delivering pizzas and food. Amazon deliveries to your campsite. Um, you don't need that camping. You know, I don't understand it. I, I just... The only thing they're going to do is make money. And it's not going to be for us. It's not going to be for Americans anymore. It's going to be for the corporation and the profitability of the companies. And it doesn't matter whether they, they make money or not. The government is going to, to give them all the money anyway. We know how that works. You know, we've been around long enough. But I'm going to tell you what the scary thing is. The scariest part of this. Like I said, there's 84 million acres in the National Park Service. Now it's controlled by corporations. It's managed by private companies who have to make a profit. Well, in five years, guess what? There's not enough profit in this stuff. How can we generate? We can't raise prices anymore because now people can't afford to come to the, you know, to the parks and stay because we've jacked up the prices so much. What can we do now to make make a profit? I'm going to tell you what they're going to do, and you can mark the date of this video, that I believe this is what will happen. We've got 84 million acres of land that we can lease to the oil and gas industry and let them come into our parks and frack. There you go. The government doesn't control it anymore. It's up to the corporations. So this absolved anybody in any administration from having to say they turned over the park service to the oil and gas industry. No. These private companies do it because they're the managing they control the parks. I just see it happening. So you know I, I implore you to do something about this to voice your opinion to call your, your congressperson your senator and tell them do not let 
the park service become privatized it's it's going to destroy the entire system it really will whether you want to believe me or not I can't fathom a good argument for this I've thought about it and thought about it you know and to help further the cause if you will in 2020 the administration is trying to cut the budget of the Park Service by 480 million dollars that's a half a billion dollars that they're not going to get this year why are you cutting the budget to the National Park Service so you can say it's in disarray and we have to turn it over to private organizations it needs to be privatized the last thing though look at private prisons I don't think that's working out too well <coughs> I know some states that are closing the, the, the for-profit prisons um, you know privatization is not that good of a thing a lot of times so when I go camping when I pull up at my campsite and I get out my you know foods I can cook there on the on the fire pit I don't need to see Pizza Hut driving up and dropping off pizzas to the campsite next to me you know I, I, it just what, what are we losing what are we giving up is that what we've done we're giving up we don't care anymore you know why is this not you know really a, 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 I don't know I think it, it is such a horrible mistake to do something like that because we're just selling ourselves out you know to corporations and hell you know half those corporations are foreign owned so they're going to be managing our National Park Service for us. What happened, America? What happened to us? You know? How can we allow this to happen? You have to call. You have to write. You have to make sure that these people don't do this. We have to stop this one. It absolutely has to stop. And I don't care if, if, if you want to take away the senior discount, take it away. Don't sell our parks to a company to the highest bidder. Don't let them start making money off of it. You know? It's... <laughs> there's already... The National Park Service, I think, employs about 27,000 people. Um, private companies already have more employees working in national parks than the park service does and they're the ones selling the the concessions and souvenirs and hotels in the area and stuff like that they're already moving in and trying to take more and more of it and now they're on this committee to try to convince us that we need to privatize the national park service and if we do that that's the end of it there is no more national park service you know one of the guys on the committee is the former CEO of Campgrounds of America. You know, that used to be a really cool place. You know, it used to be a very good organization, and it's gone to crap, in my opinion. KOA, they're they're outrageously expensive, and they don't have the fun and the amenities like they used to. One of the guys is chairman and CEO of, of Aramark. Aramark has all the concession stands and ballparks and you know they're, they're, this is the business they're in and they're the ones making recommendations to the president you got to privatize it you got to let us manage all this for you you know one of the guys is a big time donor to the Trump campaign you know so he's on the committee he stands to make money um, that's all it's about it's about rich corporations and rich people making more money off of our backs off of our heritage our history 
and something that has not had a problem for over a hundred years since the National Park Service was founded you know now let's make it a problem oh there's an opportunity companies can make more money let's make sure they get it you know and pay no respect to the history of that park or anything just turn it into a, 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 a Disneyland you know and that's what's gonna happen that's just my opinion though you guys form your own opinions but if you agree these our park service should not be privatized then join me and do something about it you know we got to start some kind of a campaign to put an end to this we can't let it happen but that's all I got to say. This is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. Hoping my van gets to go to these national parks someday. I'm out.